Hey guys, and welcome back to our Docs Let's Play. Well, we're continuing as Timos Docs. Obviously, he's a, a bit wounded right now, but that's not stopping him from leading some men. Let's jump right back in. Every time I load up this game, I'm always absolutely distraught that possibly it could crash or something. <laughs> Every time I load it up, I really hate it just in case. I'm um, decided to bestow upon you the title Warden of the West, a great honor from the king. Well, there we go. King Allard has given us title of Warden of the West. But, you know, Timos, he's kind of an arbitrary man, and he's a bit cruel. So I, I think Timos, he wants to do something. He wants to try and get something himself. Now, when it comes to uh, the inheritance, no one is voting for me. No one loves us. Even Walder Darklin is ahead of us. This cannot do. Maybe we should make a faction. We have an independence faction here. Um, Crown Loyalist, depose the king. Depose him wouldn't really help us. I think maybe we could join the independence faction. Maybe we could try and get this to kind of be pushed up a bit. Maybe we could try and get people to join this faction. The Reach, um, the Riverlands, or maybe even the Vale. Kyle the Hunter. I think we should try and get the Reach to join. How many men does he have right now? 16,000 men. Okay, so not so many men. And he's got gonorrhea. He might not be around for like, this guy is depressed, he's a drunkard. God, what happened to you? And this guy's, de everyone's so depressed. What is going on? Let's go look at my council now. People might try and kill me. So maybe I want to keep him there. Yeah, a lot of people aren't too fond of me. This guy's better though. Land docks is better, he's 100. And he's my brother after all. Maybe I should make it him. I I'll leave it for now, but we'll let time go by a bit more. Uh, more bodyguards. Quentin the Wise took the Lordship of Oxcross from Sir Polliver Dox. Sir Polliver Dox just lost his land that we gave him so long ago. My own brother, obviously our father gave him that land. Polliver, you were meant to be the good one. And you've already lost that land. And your wife has only given you a daughter. So it looks as though the Sarsfield have taken back what's rightfully theirs. I mean, technically it is, a, it is technically theirs, but it's a shame. They took Oxcross back. Oh, well, nothing we can do there. During your hunt, to, you come to a deep gorge. Right on the other side is the white stag staring at you. You're so close, you cannot reach it. As it runs away, you realize that you must return home without a victory this time. Damn, we saw it. He's the first docks to ever see it. We were so close. Uh, Samuel for the Westerlands. Yeah, we need to keep an eye on our own people. Our own people don't love us so much. Samuel Lannister, yeah. We're going to have to do something about this. I think before I did have a feast, but I don't think that really worked. Yeah, nothing else has really worked for us. People do not love me. <sighs> but I am the I am the warden of the West. I am the, the paramount of the Westerlands. They should all listen to me. We need a new treasurer. Florian's pretty good. We'll give a Florian. And a Castellan. Let's go for a Bayard Lefford, because... We need to get some more people to like us, possibly. Um, improve defenses. I'm going to oversee province just for now. Just go to there. And you can collect taxes. Here as well. Now, we actually have quite a bit of money. Money's definitely not something I have to worry about. Now, Melissa docks my little genius, little genius daughter, you. Um, she's come along well, actually. At six years old, she looks very good. But we need to do more. More intrigue and fighting, I guess. Let's go for intrigue more. He could be a good one. Um, Lyra looks pretty good, but she is possessed. Maybe not. Quentin Sarsfield. Yeah, the Sarsfield does not like me, though. I finally did take land from them. The Maester of the Westerlands. He is the Maester, after all. Let's make him do it, then. The Maester will look after her. He's our Maester, after all. I think it makes sense that he should look after her. Now, I'm not going to... I need to take this back, but... I think we have a non-aggression pact. Yeah. We're not going to be attacking each other anytime soon. But yeah. Okay. Um, it's declared Lady Liana's host claim on the north. Lady Liana. So she's the genius, skilled fighter Stark. The daughter to the former Lord Paramount. Okay, so technically she would have been the heir, but none of the girls, I guess. Yep, Agnatic Elective. So she was not given it. She says it's rightfully mine. My father was the Lord Powerman. I should be it. But obviously, this man got it. And then, I have no idea how it got to who. Who the hell has it now? Paramount Draw. Okay. So his father had it. 
I guess her son. Hassan? How the hell did it get to them? I have no idea what's going on there. But kind of it got mixed around. But she's now made a host claim on it. I guess she has kind of a right to that, possibly, you could say. There's quite a few Northern Liberation revolts going on around here. The world's a dangerous place and devious plots are everywhere. I must be careful. Yes, we should be. Am I still leading men? Where am I now? Baraton. So I'm actually here at the moment. Or around here now. Yep, I'm actually leading that army. Army of Lord Paramount Tymos. Once my wound is healed, maybe we'll try and get the dragon again. But I do not feel so, uh, so confident in our ability of that. Do not feel confident about that. All. And this place is just complete. Look at Cahor. Cahor is just an ab... This whole place is a mess. Wow. When the steward told your brother Sander was looking for you, you weren't sure what you were expecting. Certainly you weren't expecting to find him wearing a white cloak. King Allard has named me a knight of the King's Guard, he tells you happily. <gasps> Sander docks. The second docks. We made a knight of the King's Guard. Wow. As his uncle, I guess his uncle, yeah, he's my brother. So his uncle is Lord Commander. Well, do House Docs proud? I mean, I did like the fact he was my bodyguard, but, you know, he has to go. You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. We need a new bodyguard. We already have some bodyguards Tommen, this guy, and her. Yeah, I guess we're fine. I think we're fine for now. We've got a couple of Doxes on there. Samuel for the Westlands has been found. So that faction kind of disappeared. Now he's recreated it. Of course it was Sarsfield. Sarsfield is not fond of my family. No one's really joining the Independence faction. Which is a shame. Would be nice to get some more people to join that. Maybe we could push that. I don't like this elective monarchy. This, this elective thing is just... It's just going the Crownlanders. It's just... It's unfair. There's obviously some sort of... You know... It's obviously tilted towards them. This is totally unfair. Even the stately here, he's now, he's a Stormlander, but still he's underneath in the Crown Lands. Very unfair, look at that. The Stark's the only one who's even close. He's got more men to join him. I'm going to have to get this guy to like me. Florian Brax. How about an honorary title? Keeper of the Swans, congratulations. Good for you. Hopefully I'll get him to leave. It might not. I could always send him a bit of money, maybe. Hmm. Could send him a gift. How much is the gift? 151. That's quite a lot. I guess it's not big enough yet where I should maybe be too concerned. Yeah, I think we're fine. Uh, Lord Paramount models of the Imperius. You set the title of Kingdom. So, what the? Okay. So, Malada Karstark is just... He's just taken the north for himself. So, a Karstark, who's actually slow, is now been placed in charge of the north. Okay, very interesting position, but obviously the war against the girl Yeah, Leanna of the North is still there. So how many men does he have then? Oh, I guess he's up here then. Yep He has 24,000 men and I guess she is the the wolf here 3,000 men here some more men over here 8,000 okay, she's not in a good position. Yeah, she should probably lose that we'll have to wait and see New feudal taxes, apparently, by Lord Commander Rob the Unready. Looks as though the rebels of the North have been destroyed. Poor rebels. They never stood a chance. They never stood a chance. Let's increase the time. Now I should build some. I was thinking about building something here in Castley Rock. We haven't got basic defenses? Come on. Let's build some basic defenses here. Just need some basic defenses to defend ourselves. Has this gone up? No, still 72%. The aggressiveness of a vassal. Who's attacking you? Of feast fires. A vote against the rule of Lord Land. God damn, my brothers are not... I will order them to stand down, but still. My brothers are not having a good time at all. I cannot end this war. Wow. So he's revolting against his rule. That means if he loses... His daughter gets it. Luckily, she's married matrilineal to a strong Pendrick. That is a good marriage right there. My vassal, Lord Quentin Sarder, requested that Lord 
Maynard Rutland of Sarsfield should be sworn to him rather than me directly. Now, Sarsfield, he is correct, should technically be under him directly, but my ancestors took that land for themselves. I am arbitrary, honest, gluttonous, cruel and wrath. Cruel and wrath, maybe I'm an arbitrary, I don't care. Let me think, denied. Yeah, I have no care for you, sir. You're joining these factions against me. I have no care for what you think. There's never been a shortage of soldiers. Thank you very much. Maybe we should get him to uh, educate my children. I do have one son coming to age, and we have one daughter who could probably do with a little bit. Yeah, let's do that then. Train children, I think. There could be some other children as well that deserve his attention. You never know. Found a crown lawless factions. What is this? Demand independence. Let's have a quick look. My leader, I'm the leader of this faction now. And there's no one to join us. Let's check out Spy Masters. She's so good, but just costs a lot of money right now. There's some really good ones. It's just I would have to make a like us, which would just cost me too much, I think. And once we get once we get a good one to like us, I will then send them to try and get more people to join our faction. Timus though is 50 years old now. He's he's pretty old now, actually. It's uh he's lived a long life. Dunson, though, is uh, 24 years old. He's uh, a little bit ill. Can't believe poor fight. Oh, he's no longer ill. Well, there we go. I think we need to get you married, Dunson. That's a good point. We need to find you a lovely marriage. What could we, we could get married to a Darkling, possibly? I mean, we are still obviously looking for the dragons. I've still got a prisoner. Uh, Oliver, the lunatic Halton. Can we ransom you? Ten gold. There we go. We'll just ransom him, then. Um, convert. I guess we could convert at some point. Show the dragons. Let's see what's going on with dragons. Dragon riders. Located in Vasiusk. Okay. So is that in his court? Um, located in Vasiusk. Okay, we'll go there. Master of Trogdas. Okay. Yeah, we'll go to Vasius in a bit. Let's go to it now. I don't know why I said in a bit. We might as well go there. But they're in Volantis. Um, where is... Trasigus. Is it here? No. Let's go for this one. And kind of see better. And we'll let time continue going. Where is it? Um, Wizard Mercy is at your ransom. Thank you very much. Volantis. I can't see it. Is it really under here? I'm not sure it really is. Is it probably over here? Usually in these lands you find a lot of them. No, no, no. Huh. We have a quick check of that. Lord Parry of Feastfires has been released. Well, it looks as though Parry Docks has been sent to the wall. I is he the first is he the first docks that's been sent to the wall? This series has been quite a long one, but at least Lan has shown he's capable. But Parry has been sent up as a drunkard and depressed. Lord Commander's Butterwell. Don't think he's going to become Lord Commander, sadly. He's a bit old as well, so it's not likely to happen. But it would have been pretty cool if that could have happened. <laughs> but yeah. Let me just check that again, though. I feel like I'm missing something here. A Volantis, yeah. I just feel like because it says Volantis, it would means it would be underneath him. I must be missing something. Let's have a quick look through these lands. Because obviously, these guys did bring dragons as well. To Tyrosh. Let's have a quick look. No, nope, I should just search for it. Why am I being this stupid? I might as well just search for it. Well, this girl just had a, a baby. Alice Hill, who's a bastard of Tiger of Castamere. Okay, well, lovely for them. A quick look again. What was the name of the place? Vastigus. Well, I guess it could be one of the other places that, you know, one of the other... Yeah, it's probably one of the little pro provinces. That I can't see. There we go. Okay, it was right here. Oh, I did literally... What is wrong with me? I apologize. I'm being completely blind today. It's pretty late. But even that should not be an excuse. Now, how am I going to hell am I going to find this dragon rider? Should just look for the names. Is she like a dragon rider? No, she doesn't. Okay, it's going to take longer than I thought. Ones who look Valerian is probably the best ones to look for. We could marry one of them. This would make more sense. Click on this. She's already got married. If she got a dragon's egg, she'll give it to the son. But that won't help us because I need a baby for my son. Okay. Now. Yeah, his course again. Look for the other dragons. 
There we go. Who's your person? This guy. And she has a dragon egg. <gasps> and she has no children, but she's not married. Wait, if I marry her, would she? Would we get the dragon egg or would it go to her? She has no dynasty. Okay, marry her right now. Bring her over here. Dunson, you're going to marry her until... <laughs> You're gonna marry her until she gets until she dies. So that means you won't have kids for a little bit, but we're gonna marry her until she dies. Then I think we will get the dragon egg. Should, it should go to her liege lord because she has no one else. Like a drag, like a, a Valerian steel sword, I would believe. And also, it does give us a dragon for now. So if we declared independence, we'd have a dragon on our side. Um, Gorgos, thirty-eight. It's kind of, kind of, poor Dunson. <laughs> <laughs> poor, poor little Dunson. Oh, well, his father got what he wanted. He went for that dragon. Now he has a dragon egg. Hopefully, if she dies. Let's just kill her. I guess I am cruel. Yeah, I guess we're... But then again, for now, we have a dragon rider. Let's keep her. Let's keep her for now, then, actually. That makes sense. Let's keep her for now. If we can get a bit more support, I don't think right now we could probably win even with a dragon. You know, 24,000 men... I don't know. Doesn't seem like enough to me. Yeah. Even with a dragon, I don't think we could do it. I mean, it's, it's a bit risky. We probably could. We'd probably just go straight to uh, King's Landing and capture him or defeat him. But I think it's a little bit of a stretch. We want to make... Oh! And there we go. We died of that wound. So the wound we sustained from that dragon, in the end, it killed our father. And Lord Paramount Dunson docks has become the new Lord Paramount. Now, his hair is a bit more like the previous Doxes, uh, not like his father, had kind of the Lannister hair. He's got more of the R type of hair. Now, he is uh, deceitful. He's gregarious, craven, and patient. So, you know, he's kind of a sneaky one. He's kind of deceitful and patient, so he's willing to wait to get what he needs. And he's very good with people, but he's kind of a craven. He definitely does not fight out in the open. He fights in the shadows, but he is m physically strong. And our heir is Little Forley, who is now ill. That is not good. And he wants to make me a commander. We'll accept. Um, successor nominations. Well. Well, well, well. We're going to nominate ourselves for now, I think. There we go. No one's probably going to vote for me, but yeah. Now, what should we have? Now, I'm thinking intrigue because of his kind of deceitfulness. He's not really lustful. He's not really into kind of other stuff. He could be a scholar. I mean, he's patient, possibly. Family, carousing. Let's go for Intrigue for now. I'm going to click that one. And with a new ruler, um, called Caught Out of Hiding. Yeah, we'll do that, I think. But yeah, bodyguards. Um, okay, that's all good. Do we have any allies? Yes, we still have the alliance to the gardeners and our family members. Okay, that's fine. Obviously, the docks is still control feast vibes, but it's now gone to Dale, um, Parry's son. But yeah, with this comes a new council. So let's check out our council. Who does he think should be on the council? Uh, Tom and Docks would probably make a better choice, actually. But this is keeping Lefford happy. And Dunson is gregarious, so he kind of knows he needs to put them in positions of power to keep them happy. Um, my mother would be good as well, but again, it kind of keeps him a bit happier. He likes us more. This guy's fine. 7% chance of increasing it, so that's fine. Um, this guy is the best. We'll keep that as well. Spymaster. People actually like us, so let's go for Jaina Lorch. Now, Crown Loyalists. Still a lot of Crown Loyalists. Let's go for Independence for now. Just want to see if people will join. And just because I'm new, we're going to scheme for now. And if it gets safer as we go along, because right now we don't have an heir. And I would like our son to inherit strong if we can. I just want to get that dragon egg, really. That's what I want. I want that dragon egg. I really do. And we've got the given Chief General of King's Land. And will he accept? You know what? Dunson is not going to do the faction for now. Then we're going to leave this faction. Because, you know, we've been we've been given a position as uh, the General of the Iron Throne. It's a very proud position. Gain honorary title. Obtain a, a higher throne. Become independent. I mean, he's not particularly bothered about becoming exalted. Um, improving our combat ability, we are a craven. Gain honorary title. He likes that idea. He knows it puts him in higher standing to get more titles. And what is this? Education. 
You would like to educate Salad Dogs. Well, I mean, I don't really see a point in him educating her, really. So I'm going to say no for now. Now, the Reach has just gone right into the Stormlands, taking a big chunk right there. New Lord Treasurer. We'll go for my uncle for now. He's my bodyguard, but he doesn't like me, it seems. Collect taxes. And we'll continue there. Yeah. The participant in the Tawny of Pendrick Hill. It's kind of a small tawny, and my guy's a craven, so he's only going to, he's only going to go to the finest tawnies for now. Um, because he kind of has to make an appearance. The Warden of the West, thank you. It's a good honor. So, yeah, he's doing quite a good job making us happy, actually. You know what, Alan Darkly, maybe you're not so bad. Maybe my father was wrong to keep belittling you in front of me. Has declared Melee's host. Okay, so again, another girl has now declared war for her claim. That would put the Greyjoys in charge because her husband's a Greyjoy. Now, I hope I don't get too old before she dies. I hope she dies quite quickly just because I guess I am deceitful. I'm not kind. But keeping her at the moment, keeping it does give us a dragon, but I guess I don't really need it. Um, I'll order them to stand down. I guess it doesn't help having her here too much. I mean, it does give us the dragons there, but we're not planning to go to war with anyone. I mean, I guess I could attack him for the lands that I want that are mine. Which would make sense, but does he have any allies? Brother-in-law. So they're brothers-in-law, friends. Oh yeah, I just realized, yeah, it's no aggression packs, isn't it? They're all actual allies. So there's not particularly any strong allies. I'll wait to see maybe if he dies, and then we'd attack him. But with dragon, we could easily defeat You know what, I'm just going to get rid of her. I don't control the dragon, and uh, we don't know how she'll use it. So we want to get rid of her, I think, for now. Get that dragon's egg. I'm going to see. I'm going to try and kill her. <laughs> you never know, maybe it will never work out, so it's fine. We'll try and kill her for now, and we'll see if it works out. But I'd like to get rid of her, just to get that dragon's egg. It could be mine. It could be our family, so we could hatch a dragon. Maybe hatching a dragon's safer than riding a dragon. That's probably likely. That's what at least our family's thinking. You know, Dunson, he's too craven to go tame a dragon himself. He thinks maybe the egg is the way forward. He, the, taming that dragon killed his father. So he, want, he would like to try and get it one day. To prove himself. Now how have you done? You defeated that uh, Stark. So the cast Starks now have the north. Another small tourney. Tawny. And we have a king beyond the wall. Sauron Great Hike. He's done a pretty good job right now. He's not doing too bad. He's got a few more places. Lord Commander Butterwell is still there. How about the uh, other commanders? How are they? On this side we have Oswin Egan still. Still there, I see. And Lyle Hillfern. Again, both still the same ones from before, if I remember correctly. And Forley's pretty good at fighting. Let's get you a good fighter. Tooled, he's got trained fighter. Roland is a skilled fighter, but I guess he is brave as well. Well, there's no good diplomacy. This guy could be fine. Could have been turned into a homosexual. He has no learning. Roland. Yeah, Roland's not great overall. Overall. Hmm. Let's have a quick look down. How about we look at the King's Guard for one second? Let's look at the King's Guard. We have two doctors on the King's Guard. Maybe the King's Guard could be a good place to find a man to educate my my brother. After all. No, I prefer the other guy that we have. Of Redgrove, nah, he's a craven. Nimark, no. Of Oaken, Oakenhaven, he's not too bad overall, I guess. Not amazing, but pretty good stats overall. Duelist as well. Um, obviously, Lord Commander Rob Dox and Sander Dox. Now, personally, I think I'm going to go just for the man we saw before in my own lands. The skilled fighter, Roland. He's my bodyguard, after all. We can trust him to look after them. Florin of Hornvale was slain, apparently. In personal combat. That poor man, him. That poor man. How's the intrigue coming? 172%. So we could kill her off. 
We married her just so we could bring her to our court so we can kill her to get the dragon's egg. It makes sense. We lured her in with the promise of marrying a Lord Paramount's son. She was like, oh, that sounds lovely. And he's so young. Look at him. Why would she not want to marry him? But we knew. We always knew. As regent. Uh, an absurd proposition. We don't want you to be regent. Forley, again? Didn't we just give you an educator? Did he just die? Did that guy just die? Okay, looks like he just died. So let's send you to one of the King's Guard then. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to the King's Guard. I think it was this guy. We'll choose this guy. Unwin. Where is Unwin? Forley. There we go. Perfect. So he'll educate our brother. Hopefully he can make our brother into a fine man, or at least a, a capable. Um, you'd like to be regent, my spy master. Um, my uncle's wife. That seems absurd, but you know, I know it means she won't like us, but it's just a little bit. She still likes us, mostly. You would want to be... My regent? Why would you want to be the... Oh, we need to make a regent. I need to make a regent. My mother. My mother will be the regent. Designated regent. There we go. She's a fine woman. And we're going to end this part here. So there we go. Today we're going to end this part here. Not much has kind of happened. My father's passed on. Time of stocks. We didn't really have him for that long, actually. But Dunson's quite young. He's 25 years old. He could get a dragon's egg. I could see possible great things happening for Dunson. Always going to completely falter and fail. We'll have to wait and see. But I'll see you guys then next time.